Hello, Pisces. Welcome to the heart space. This is Andrea. Pisces, I tried to sit in your energy and I did receive a couple of messages. They didn't make a lot of sense, but maybe it will for you. I heard distorted desire. There is a difference between what you need and what you want. I also saw mending and repairing. There's something that you may want to mend or repair in your life. The message is, is to live in the present moment, to not be haunted by the past, to not be haunted by the regrets of your past, to live and love your life right here, right now, because that's all we have. I'm going to use the spiritual journey oracles for you. Let's see what spirit has. Pisces, Sun, Rising and Venus. There's no time on my readings. I do trust that when you're going to receive this message, when you're going to see this video, will be the right timing on your journey. Let's see. We have Ascension Sickness. What you are experiencing is a physical manifestation of your soul's journey to higher consciousness. self-actualization you're on the road to achieve your full potential understand your core strengths and use them to your advantage then we have soul alignment there is an integration of yourself and your soul's purpose happening at this time contract your souls have incarnated together by mutual agreement there's something you must do or clear in this lifetime greater awareness awaits See, there's this process of integration. There's this process that most of the times we're not aware of because we're not, we're not conscious enough to understand why we came here. Spirit wants you to be aware that there's a bigger picture here that you need to acknowledge and you need to accept. You might have some illness at this time. Uh, it feels like this illness is helping you align with your soul uh, there's a lesson here that has been learned and you may have a contract with somebody with a specific soul um, that has been fulfilled greater awareness awaits there's something you must do or clear in this lifetime we'll we'll clarify that energy spend time in nature extremely important to heal extremely important to align with Mother Gaia, but also align your chakras to be in harmony, to be in balance, to be in the flow. Let's see. What else, Spirit Guides? Four Pisces. Magical Shapeshifter. This is a major energy here. There's something shifting in ways that are incredibly powerful for you, Pisces. You have the key right here, so it feels like you are in charge. Anything else? Bone Collector. And Storm Fields. The bone collector for me, it's like the magician. It's gathering all the tools that you need to bring something into fruition, to start a new beginning. Um, and it feels like you had to go through this storm field, through this uh, perfect storm to be able to shift, to be able to step into your soul's purpose. There's an, there's an important message here. Let me see. Let me just clarify really quick the contract. Tell me more about the contract here. You may feel in the dark right now, but there will be a lot of clarity coming your way with this energy and message. Greater awareness awaits. Once again, we are seeing just the surface level and there's so much more. There's so much more regarding our life, why we are here and what are the contracts we agreed to. What's the contract about? Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Swords. You've helped each other create a legacy. You've helped each other create a home. It feels more energetically though, but also Ten of Pentacles, 
represents a legacy, a home, a stable foundation. And seven of pen seven of wands. There's a lot of protection that I'm getting here. You need it to come into this lifetime to protect each other from from not stepping into this distorted desire. I heard from not detouring from the obvious. Anything else? Four, four of pentacles. There was a lesson here regarding, for some of you, you had to learn your person to trust more, to feel safe, to feel secure, to feel loved, to feel seen. Yeah, I'm getting that you've helped each other wake up. Wake up to see your purpose, wake up to uh, clear the karmic lessons. Uh, just wake up consciousness so you can move into a higher octave once you're done with this life. Let me read the magical map shifter. Spirit orchestrates everyone's destiny. Oh yes, exactly. When the magical map shifter card arrives, it comes with a mission to make you aware of the people who come into your life to impact your personal growth. Perhaps you may meet a soulmate whose presence invites you to be the best you. Mm -hmm. Or someone who leads you out of difficulty and into a place of safety or success. Pay attention to those individuals who cross your path today and cause you to reflect on your journey. Be awake and aware and will recognize them for the important challenge, for the important change agents they are. Your whole perspective about who you are and why you're here will shift. So one of the agreements here is that you had to meet your soulmate um, to better yourself, to to reach that better version of yourself and you did the same thing for your person as well. You both help each other see different aspects of yourselves and also make each other feel seen, feel safe, seen appreciated. For some of you this person showed up when you were um, in a very difficult situation. Maybe you lost somebody and this person may have showed up exactly at the right time. Once again, the universe orchestrates your destiny. Also, I feel that for some of you, you've, um, you've had an agreement to move both of you out of this matrix. To not reincarnate over and over again. What's the message for Pisces? Most important message. The outsider. They're finally stepping out into the wild, I heard. They're finally seeing yourself as enough. Your inner child is finally free, I heard. Also, you may have felt like an outsider in your life, like you're not able to fit in. You're not able to feel like you belong. This is something that comes through as well. We'll clarify soon enough. What's the obstacle? What's the challenge? Letting go, surrendering, accepting, being grateful for what is and what was and what will be, accepting the cycles, accepting the cycles of ebb and flow, of dark and light, just accepting the range of frequencies that we have to go through. What's coming to an end, Spirit Guides? Transformation, experiencing, and possibilities. A lesson learned. Major lesson learned with this transformation energy. You transforming yourself into the eagle. You transforming yourself in pure freedom, pure success, and expansive journey here. What's your blind spot? What you don't see coming? Inner voice and change. I'm feeling that it's essential, Pisces, to meditate, to sit in stillness, to connect with your body, with your energetic body as well, but also physical body, and to also connect with your higher self, to receive the messages, to receive, to receive the clarity, what is changing, 
what is coming into your life, what is transforming, and how can you harvest the best of it? How can you harvest the ripe fruit, I heard? What's coming for Pisces? Abundance. Abundance, ripeness, right? Fertility, just a lot of celebration, true happiness, full harmony, and extreme peace that I'm getting here. Because I feel like this contract, it's uh, actively being fulfilled and is going to take you here. What's the advice? Courage. Beautiful. The courage to step out of this gate. The courage to see the bigger picture. The courage to mature. The courage to look at everything around you and be able to be very anchored in the zero point, in the neutral point, the most expansive space that you can be. The courage to step out of this storm field into this magical shape-shifting energy. Let's clarify. Outsider, please. Like and subscribe, turn on the notification bell. Let me know how this resonates with you. I feel like it's a little bit cryptic because it is a general message, but whoever needs to hear the message to receive the message, they will receive it. Ace of Cups, how beautiful. This is the major lesson to love yourself unconditionally. And for some of you is to help somebody else to see themselves as full unconditional love, to bring that into someone else's presence. And you've done that, Pisces. You've brought that beautiful divine love into existence. And even though life can be tricky, life can be, life can be extremely difficult, you've done all you could have done with the tools you have. Yes. Scorpio energy, death. The star healing. Oh, how beautiful. Eight of Cups, the star. And Queen of Swords, which for me really speaks about holding your boundaries, setting your boundaries, being very clear and knowing why you're here, what are the karmic contracts and what needs to be accomplished. And I feel like you have that clarity, you have that healing energy, you have that infinite possibility that is a factor in your life and you are taking major steps forward into the star, into you becoming a star, I heard, and into you realizing your expansiveness, your full potential. There's something about the love that you have captured, the love that you have received and gave, that it's changing, it's a game changer. That's what I'm getting. Letting go. Ten of Wands, yes. Release, surrender, acceptance and gratitude. These are the words that are coming into my mind and they are tied up to these two cards. What do you need to release, Pisces? I feel for some of you, you have to release some anger that you have towards you, some regrets that you have to that you have towards you. All those need to be released so you can be in this unconditional loving space. Page of Cups and Judgment. You have this beautiful water energy which is so creative, so skillful, uh, such a beautiful, easy going energy uh, that Spirit is asking you to tap into. There is a last call to action, there is a renewal, there is a re emerging of this innocent energy and once you let go, once you look at the possibilities out there, once you look at the bigger picture. Tell me more about inner voice and change. Pay attention to the signs, pay attention to the synchronicities, 
pay attention to the messages that you're receiving from your higher self. There is something that you are confused about, that you are still holding into your heart some regrets, some disappointment, but that will come to an end with the tower. This tower will make space for the Wheel of Fortune. Tell me more about... Can you tell me more about the tower? What's this tower about? Seven of Wands. Is this resistance? You need to surrender to the flow of life, to the cycles of life, because I feel this resistance here. I feel this resistance to change that needs to come in order for your heart to heal. Maybe this change will bring a lot of sadness and pain to somebody, but it's just how the universe orchestrates things for the greater good, right? So we resist. We resist the changes. We resist the unfamiliarities. You're being called to surrender. Big time. Courage. Three of Wands. We have Three of Wands here too. Six of Cups. Ace of Swords. Courage to step into the new. Courage to step into a new adventure. Courage to connect to your inner child, to give your inner child a lot of care, love, and Ace of Swords, which is truth, clarity, and an appreciation for life. Wow. Okay. That was totally unexpected. I really hope you got something out of it and you received your message. Let's see. Let's get a chakra stone here for you. What's the chakra that needs to be looked at. This is I do and this is the solar plexus chakra, the third chakra. This speaks about our empowerment, how we feel about life, how we feel about ourselves, that this excitement when we do something that we love, this courageous energy and brave energy that we have to step, step into to reach our dreams, to reach our goals. I do. What else for you guys? Four spices. What else? Sweet results await. Number seven. Be spirit. Ah. Turn knowledge into wisdom. Life is speeding up. Surrender now. Yes. We are turning knowledge into wisdom. We are turning pain into wisdom. And we are here to experience the full range of emotions, the full range of frequencies. Let's get a soul's truth in closing. For Pisces, please. Am I focused on what I am losing or gaining? Are you going through some change? <laughs> wow. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Are you going through some change? Are you scared to let go because of what you might lose? What if you shifted your focus from what you might lose to what you might gain? Endings are actually new beginnings. Today, make a list of all the things you will gain from the change you are going through. Endings are beginnings and most of the times we are just afraid to let go of the old, to let go of what is already accomplished. You are moving into a new cycle, you are moving into a much expansive journey of the soul and journey of the senses. I have no idea what am I going to title this reading. If you have an idea, if there's a specific phrase that's coming into your mind while you are watching this, please type it in the comment box down below, okay? Thank you so much. Love you, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.